The next issue we want to discuss with optics and the human eye is how eyeglasses work. The idea is that there are two more general issues with a person's eyes that uh, can prevent them from seeing, and we want to discuss how eyeglasses can be used to correct for this issue. The first issue we want to discuss is uh, nearsightedness. So uh, when a uh, person is nearsighted, uh, that means that you can see near you, and you cannot see things that are far away. Uh, so that means objects that are close to you are just fine, but past a certain distance, the eye is unable to focus uh, on that image, that image onto the uh, retina. So nearsighted means that you can see near you, so that's easy to remember. So how do we fix this issue? Well, uh, nearsighted means that there is a far point, uh, some distance that your eye can uh, see clearly, but beyond that, everything is out of focus. In order to correct this, we want a lens that takes a distant object and converts that into a virtual image that forms at the far point of the person's vision. So here we have our picture of this. So we have a distant object, and we would like a uh, diverging lens. So we want an upright uh, virtual image. So that means we want some kind of concave lens or diverging lens. And uh, basically, so our object is at infinity, and we want our uh, image to form at the far point of the person's vision. So the focal length for the far point should be a negative, because it's a diverging lens, and the focal length should be equal to the uh, uh, far point of the person's uh, vision. So since it's on the same side of the uh, lens as the object, that corresponds to a negative image. So if you were trying to help this person, you would find a far point, and then uh, get a set of glasses that has a, a diverging uh, uh, lenses that has a negative focal length, and the uh, magnitude of the far point of the uh, uh, person's vision. Okay, so uh, this picture kind of nicely shows how this works. The idea is we have this virtual image at the far point, so once it's there, then the uh, person's eyes, when they look through the glasses, uh, they can uh, focus it uh, nicely. Okay, so let's try an example here. So we have a person who is nearsighted and has a far point distance of 323 centimeters, and there is uh, two centimeters between the glasses and the person's eye. We would like to correct their vision, so what should the uh, focal length of the glasses be? Well, we want to take an object that is placed at infinity, and we want to form an image at, uh, at the far point. The image that we want to form is on the same side of the lens as the object, so it's a virtual image, and the uh, image distance is then going to be uh, negative 321 centimeters. So uh, the point is that the distance from the eye to the far point is 323 centimeters, so we put in a slight correction here since there's two centimeters between the eye and the uh, uh, lens, so the distance from the lens to the far point is uh, 321 centimeters, so the uh, image distance is negative 321. The object uh, is placed at infinity, so uh, we know the object distance and the image distance, so now we want to solve for the uh, focal length. So if we do this, um, the uh, 1 over infinity is just 0, and uh, that means the focal length is 1 over negative 321. So that means uh, we can just solve for this, and we find that our focal length is negative 321 centimeters. So the uh, focal length is negative, and it's almost equal to the uh, far point, right? We have a small correction for the distance between the person's eye and the uh, lens, but uh, it's uh, pretty close here. So yeah, so the uh, idea here is that um, uh, we want to uh, set the um, uh, image of the, that the object at infinity, so we want to uh, turn that into an image that forms at the far point, and we do that by uh, taking a uh, diverging lens with a negative focal length, and that negative focal length is very close to their far point distance. There might be a small correction based on the uh, uh, distance from the lens to the eye. If the person had contacts, then it would just be the same thing. But in any case, uh, that's how we find the um, uh, uh, how we find the uh, focal length for uh, someone who is nearsighted. Okay, so uh, you have uh, some questions to do, and next we'll look at farsightedness. Good luck.